What's going on YouTube? So if you're watching this video, you're probably in the process of applying to DPT school and you might have a low GPA, um, low GRE scores. Well, guess what? You came to the right video because I failed a lot. I'll explain. Number one, I took the GRE five times. Five times. Second, I took general chemistry one three times. Three times. Last but not least, I took general chemistry two, two times. Two times. So, stick around for the video. Hopefully I can help you out and get you going on the way to DPT school. So let's go. All right guys, so here are my scores. <laughs> it's so sad looking at these, but I'm here to help you guys. So hopefully you guys don't get in the same position that I did. So as you can see right here, I'm not lying, I took it five times. First time I took it was August 21st, 2014. For verbal, I had a 143, quantitative 144, analytical 3.5. Terrible. That's terrible. The second time I took it, November 23, 2016. 140 on the verbal, 141 on the quantitative, 4.5 on the analytical writing. Okay, that's a, that's a good thing, but these were terrible. I'm disappointed, I'm a scrub. Third time, September 25th, 2017, 143, 144, and a four. Analytical writing went down. These literally were the same. <laughs> now the fourth time. September 14, 2018, 144. Okay, it went up. <clears throat> 141, it went down three points. What's going on? Writing stay the same. <laughs> September 3rd, 2019, 150 on the verbal. 151 on the quantitative, 4 on the analytical. <laughs> My goal was to score at least a 300 because I just wanted to apply to as many schools as possible. Because um, I know that the minimum was at least 300. So if I can just break the 300 barrier, I know that, you know, I can, number one, I can apply, and two, I might have a good shot. Um, and that's what I try to shoot for. But as you can see right here, this was a long journey. I do not wish this upon anybody. This is a $205 exam, if you guys don't know yet. $205 times five. The amount of hours I was at a coffee shop, spending money. Large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti, yeah, the biggest one you got. A venti is large. And just struggling to get through this exam. Hopefully you guys watching this and hopefully I can inform you as to the best of my ability to avoid the mistakes that I made and just take this exam one time. How's it going YouTube? Did I scare you? Well, I'm back. I don't know if you noticed, but shirt's different, no hat. And um, okay, you guys don't care about that. This is how I improved my GRE scores from the first time I took it to the fifth time I took it. You see this book right here? I'm pretty sure you guys are well of this book. This five pound book that you can probably bicep crawl right now. <laughs> yeah, this book. Um, I didn't use that. Kaplan books. You got your English. You got your math. You got your, oh, look at this, English and math. I didn't use that either. The official GRE book from ETS. Um, I didn't use that either. To some people, I know that they just use, they use Kaplan, they use Manhattan Prep, the five pound book, and got the GRE just like that. But to me, I, it did not work. Obviously. I don't know what it is. Like I studied, 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 read it, wrote on it, highlighted everything you can think of. I did it and I still couldn't get the 300 points that I needed. For the fifth time, I had to do something totally different. And this is what I did. So Arvin, what did you use to study for the GRE? I'll tell you. GRE flashcards by Manhattan Prep. This one actually worked for me. Like I said, those other books might have worked for other people, but to me, it didn't. But this one, I highly recommend. I just read the definition, read the sentence that follows through, and try to make the word and make it as funny as possible like something like something dumb like word which could be like i don't know um enervate enervate means tired out on a weekend my ex-girlfriend knows how to enervate me Boom! <laughs> we want our money back go back where you came from okay that's probably 
one, it's probably not a good thing to say. Number two, I probably use the word wrong. Try to make it as funny as possible, if, if you know what I mean. And to me, comedy always helps. Yeah, that's how I did it. 15 to 20 words, if you can. Um, for some people, it might be too much. For some people, it might be too low. Try to find your range. Try to find what, what works for you. And um, good luck with the words. Now, the major thing I use in order to get the 301 and a four on the GRE was... What was it? Tell me! Magoosh, 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 Magoosh. Welcome to Magoosh. So, just a quick overview of what you're looking at. The website is set up so that you can keep track of your progress when it comes to math, when it comes to your verbal unfortunately not the writing but they do have practice exams that you can take which i highly highly recommend and the two trials that you have from the ets website so how did i study from bagoosh this is how i did it you see this part right here it says lessons you're gonna click on this it will take you to this page where it says intro math verbal and writing if this is your first time taking the GRE, I would highly recommend watching these videos right here. So each link right here, they're all videos. So I'd watch all of them. And then I would go to math. Now you see all these blue lines right here? These are all links to videos. I would watch all of them. It took me a long time, but hey, sorry guys, that's what I did. Watch all of this, watch all of this. Watch all of this, all of these videos. That's what I did. I try to knock out one portion per week. And then you go to verbal. And guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna watch all of these videos. Sorry, like I said, this is just what I did. Oh, by the way, right over here, it also teaches you the strategies for the analytical writing. Nope, scratch that. It's actually right here. Writing. Watch all of these videos. Watch all of these videos. Oh, and also for the writing, what I did was I went to GRE ETS essay prompts. I did this. Right here on the left side, you're gonna see where it says analyze an issue. Analyze an argument. Click on analyze an issue and then full of issue topics. You're gonna see all these issue topics. It's pretty long, but just go over as many as you can and you should be fine. You can do the exact same thing for the argumentative portion of the writing section. And then you're gonna click on pull of argument topics. And guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna do the exact same thing. All of these, all the way down. You're gonna read all of them. You're gonna practice, 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 practice. So after you watch all the lesson videos, you're gonna go back to the dashboard of the website. And now I would start practicing questions because now you've seen all the lessons, you have the knowledge in order to answer these questions. So for math, you click practice math. And then you have 737 questions, which range from easy, medium, hard, very hard. I would try to do as many of these questions as possible. Same thing with the verbal. Click practice verbal. You have 577 questions. This will have every category in the verbal section of the GRE. And since you've been practicing the flashcards on the Manhattan prep set of cards, some of the words will eventually show up in one of the questions, which you will know the definition of, so you'll be good to go on the verbal. So, besides having low GRE scores and having to retake it five times, I also had a low prerequisite GPA. So as you can see right here, I took Chemistry 200, which is General Chemistry 1, back in Spring 2012. And guess what? I got a C in lecture, and I got a C in lab. So guess what I had to do? I had to retake the class again to get a higher grade. But guess what? Right over here. I took in the summer of 2017, and guess what? 
got another C. So guess what I had to do again? Retake General Chemistry 1. But down here, Fall 2018, General Chemistry 200 and 200 Lab, boom, 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 your boy finally got A's. Like I said, I took it three times, which is kind of bad. Now, General Chemistry 2, I took it two times. The first time I took it was back in spring 2015, which is right over here. Chemistry 201, General Chemistry, which was combined lecture and lab, and I got a C plus. Now guess what I had to do? Retake General Chemistry 2. Now right here in fall 2018, guess what happened? Chem 201, BAM, your boy got a B. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my prerequisite GPA before retaking those chemistry classes. But before I do that, I forgot to mention that I also had a C in general bio that I also had to retake last year. I forgot to tell you guys that. I actually had a C in that class too, but I ended up getting an A when I retook it. So I'm gonna show you guys my prereq GPA before retaking chemistry 200, which you gotta see. Chemistry 201, which I got a C plus, and general bio when I got a C in that class. You guys ready? All right, here we go. I'm not ready. Boom! Your boy had a 284 prerequisite GPA. Now remember, majority of the schools, or all of the schools, I think, need a 3.0 on their prereq GPA. So I was very much below the prereq GPA minimum. So that's why I had to retake my classes. Like I said, I had to retake General Chemistry 1 three times, General Chemistry 2 two times, and had to retake General Bio two times, I guess you can say. Totally forgot to mention that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you my prerequisite GPA once I change these Cs into the improved grades that I've gotten after retaking these classes. You guys ready? And here we Boom! Your boy had a 3.29. And after many trials of a GRE and retaking chemistry and biology, University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences welcomes its new student, Arvin, for the January Spring 2020 cycle of the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. What's up, YouTube? As you can see, I'm not in my room. I'm near the ocean, hopefully you can hear me. But um, the purpose of this video is to pretty much tell you guys to not give up if you really wanna be a physical therapist. And that's just what it is. I mean, hopefully my experience, you know, bombing the GRE four times and having to take it five times, same thing with the chemistry classes and the bio classes. I'm hoping that, you know, you guys can see that I'm not a traditional student who went right after college who didn't really know what he wanted to do, who was interested in PT, but had to really find out deep down why I wanted to pursue PT. It was a rough journey, I'm not even gonna lie. It was long, it was emotionally, physically, financially draining. I sound very dramatic. Oh, quick crime! Quick crime! It was pretty draining though, I'm not gonna lie. And, um, I think the toughest part was knowing that some of my friends got in, some of my friends already finished graduate school, and some of them are already PT while I'm stuck studying for the GRE and uh, taking those classes. So I'm hoping this video encourages you to not give up, to keep going if you really wanna be a physical therapist. Just don't give up. It's easier said than done, but trust me, it's very, very rewarding. I'm gonna make more videos. This YouTube thing is harder than I thought, but I'm gonna take you guys on a journey from starting DPT school to the finish and hopefully I can keep it up. So comment, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. That's it. Um, I don't really know how to end this video, but right here, the ocean. If you're feeling stressed out, go to the ocean. I'll show you guys. Hopefully you guys learned something from my experience. Uh, good luck with DPT school and application and the GRE. You guys can do it. You can do it! I'm actually here at an event where um, there's amputees. 
there's a lot of individuals here who are limited, but that is not stopping them from living life and going for what they want. So that should be a motivation to you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.